What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is Sohail and today I want to talk about multiple time frames analysis. First, I'll explain what's the difference between different time frames and how you can choose the best time frame based on your trading style. And after that, I'll show you how you can analyze multiple time frames simultaneously so that you can increase the probability of having successful trades. Multiple time frames analysis is very important to learn and it can play a key role in your trading success. So stay tuned and let's get started. All right, as you can see, we have four charts here, same currency pair, but different time frames. Here, the time frame is one day and each candle actually represents open, high, low and close of each day. And here, the time frame is four hours and each candle shows the price action of every four hours. Uh, here the time frame is one hour similarly each candle give us information on what happened in every hour and in the last chart the time frame is 15 minutes which means that each candle gives us information on open high low and close of every 15 minutes the areas that i marked on the four charts are the same period november 18 november 19 and november 20 all of them are showing the price action of the same period same three days but as you can see the difference is really considerable. Here on the daily chart, we have three candles, each of them representing one day, but for the same period on the four hours chart, we have more candles. Actually, it's 18 candles. And as you see, we can observe more price movements here in compared to daily chart, which is only three candles. And here on the one hour chart for the same period, uh, we have even more candles and you can observe the price moving pretty well for that three days. And here on the 15 minutes chart for that same period of three days, you see lots of price movements, lots of ups and downs, as you can see. Uh, I guess you got it what happened here. In the same period of time, when we move from higher time frames to lower time frames, we see more and more movements of prices. We see more noises. As you can see on the daily chart, uh, in the area which I marked in that three days, the movement of the price is flat, not any considerable change up or down. But for example, when you see it on the one hour chart, you can clearly see that the price didn't move flat and in between the price went up or down considerably. But at the end of the period, the price is somewhere that it started. And on the 15 minutes chart on that period, you can even see more movements of prices. Pay attention that in this period of three days, the price at the beginning of the period with the price at the end of the period is approximately equal. But when we zoom in and go to lower time frames, we see movements of the price. The more we zoom in, the more movements and noises we can see. So you may ask what time frame is suitable for trading. The answer is the best time frame for you is totally dependent on what kinds of a trader you are. Short term traders go with shorter time frames and longer term traders go with longer time frames. Let me give you a guideline on different kinds of traders and time frames that are suitable for them. Generally, we have four kinds of trading style, which are scalping, day trading, swing trading or midterm trading, and position trading or long term trading. Scalpers usually hold their trades from less than a minute or a few minutes to few hours. Uh, day traders may hold their positions less than an hour or a few hours to one day, not more than a day. Uh, swing traders from less than a day or few days to few weeks and long term traders hold their position a few weeks to month. Uh, scalpers usually choose time frames from 1 minute to 15 minutes, day traders 5 minutes to 4 hours, swing traders from 1 hour to daily and position traders or long term traders usually use daily, weekly and monthly. I hope you get it now why, for example, a day trader doesn't look at weekly chart or one day chart because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't matter what the overall trend on daily chart is. For example, for a day trader who is looking on this one hour chart to enter a trade here in this dip uh, and exit the trade uh, with, with a good profit here, for example, uh, it doesn't really matter what's the long term trend on the daily chart is. The whole is move, the whole is 15 candles are just 
parts of one candlestick on one day chart. If you remember 24 candles here on this one hour chart makes only one candle on the one day chart. So this is how different kinds of traders are categorized and uh, these are the time frames that are suitable and make sense for each of these trading styles. Pay attention that the maximum of the time frame ranges for each trading style that you see here is usually used for identifying primary trend and major support and resistance levels for that trading style and the minimum of the ranges for precise entry and exit points. This is the subject of multiple time frame analysis, which I'm going to explain it now. Multiple time frames analysis is a trading method that you monitor same financial asset on different time frames. We have a general guideline for choosing these multiple time frames that most of traders use it. Generally, three different time frames give you enough information on the market and less than three time frames can be insufficient and more than three time frames is unnecessary and waste of time and it's just needless analysis. So three different time frames are enough to effectively monitor the market. Now you may ask how these three different time frames are chosen correctly. A very simple strategy is to use ratio of 1 to 4 or 1 to 6 when you want to choose your three different time frames. Also, the ratio of 1 to 5 is also used in cases that the two mentioned ratios are not applicable in your trading platform. These ratios give enough room to your time frames to show enough data of the market. First, you need to determine your medium term time frame, the time frame that is matched with your trading style and also your trading system and you prefer to trade on that time frame. And after that, with ratio of 1 to 4 or 1 to 6, you choose longer time frame that is actually your long term time frame and will be used for identifying primary trends and major support and resistance levels. And again, with one of the ratios, you choose a shorter time frame that is actually your short term time frame and will be used for identifying precise entry and exit points. Let me give you an example to make it clear for you. Consider I'm a day trader and I prefer to use one hour chart as my primary time frame the medium term time frame I just explained so this is the most frequently used time frame for me and most of trading decisions and signals are taken on this time frame that I have selected and also uh, the other two time frames will be derived from this one hour chart to get my long term time frame I use the ratio of four and the four hours chart becomes my long term chart this is where I identify the primary trends and direction of the market and major support and resistance levels for day trading purposes and for short Short term time frame again I use the ratio of 4 and 15 minutes chart is my short term time frame after finding trading opportunities on one hour chart 15 minutes chart is where I identify precise entry and exit points that give me the chance to enter or exit a trade in the best price possible the whole philosophy behind the multiple time frame analysis is to find opportunities to enter a trade in the direction of the trend which is the lowest risk trade that you can have for example as you can see on the four hours chart we are in an uptrend so it's more probable to get the expected result if we buy not to sell and if we get the buying signal on one hour chart it would be a low risk trade that is in the direction of the primary trend for example if you look at the one hour chart you see that on this intermediate uptrend the price is near the touching point of the trend line in a tight consolidation as you can see so it could be a good place to open a trade and if we look at the 15 minutes chart here also we see a short term uptrend and the price is on the touching point of the trend line here which indicates this is a good time to enter a buying trade this was just an example and in practice we don't open a trade like this and other aspects of technical analysis must be considered i just wanted to explain how we switch between different time frames to identify trends and to move in the direction of the trends uh, that can bring us opportunity of having low risk trades multiple time frame analysis is a top-down approach that helps you trade in the direction of larger trend and this reduce the risk because you are moving in the direction of the market actually by combining the time frame Frames, you can significantly increase the probability of having successful trades. 
If you have any question, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you found any value in this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. Thank you for watching my video and good luck with your trading.